We're going to call him a Taeon uh, from now on. But we're going to be seeing the PK Chris and Zagutinan, who just got knocked into losers by Venia and Jewel. I mean, you know, that happens quite a bit. Yep, uh, almost every time at Aeon doubles or Meta doubles, whatever you want to call it, um, they are usually the ones to be knocked um, into losers by them. And we're going to be seeing Suarez and Raptor, of course, double Yoshi um, coming up um, to fight them as well. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot is going on. This is basically the same old, same old, like, the same exact people in doubles, like losing finals and winning finals every single week. Um, I didn't get a chance to see much of this play a little bit early because singles is just going inside the doubles right now. So it'll just be like interesting to see how they're playing today, what kind of synergy they have with one another, and um, yeah. Already, anyhow, they're finally starting to pick the characters and they will be jumping into the set, please. Yes, phenomenal. Um, probably starting on PSD, that's usually the stage of choice for both teams. Gives them like a whole lot of space to do what they really want. Battlefield is definitely going to be avoided uh, when they're fighting for double Yoshi. And PK Coast right off the bat committing to the PK Thunder. Um, that is a super high commitment move, but it's basically like giving you the range of this huge projectile that can cover all of your like, teammates' blind spots if you have enough accuracy. I love the way that Chris drops down um, and uses his flash just to like basically prevent his opponent from setting up that ledge. Um, but right now, it seems like Chris and um, like Zigitsunan haven't been able to get much started the set so far, but both of them are offstage on the same side. Chris is supporting back up with PK Thunder, uh, but they let uh, Raptor through, and that's what sort of broke the formation to begin with. PK Chris finally securing a down, a yo-yo kill. Is he going to be able to make it back? Such a good save from Zero to none. They stop PK Chris from losing his stock preemptively, and they still really, really fall in it. Um, fantastic synergy from the both of them. Wow, Raptor had the right idea. He positioned himself perfectly to, um, you know, catch the throw from Suarez, but was just a little bit too low. Um, but they'll probably get it next time. They're just like working on the weights and, you know, just, some just something to get used to a little bit. Really, really smart at that. Wow. I think that down it hit simultaneously with the um, with the dash attack, and so the down air gave it the momentum, but the dash attack defined the actual direction of the knockback. That was a really fascinating interaction. Um, right now, Zigutinan is doing a great job of like making sure that PK Chris isn't losing that last stock of his. Um, like, Raptor to overextending onto PK Chris's shield, so dangerous, he could have gotten punished a lot more if PK Chris really, really wanted to for it. Uh, but Chris overcommitting to PK Thunder, that would have been the stock so good. You always have to keep going when like you're sitting in shield and then like a Yoshi is just ready to downbeat that because that shield break and that's just gonna be an easy stop. Right now PK Chris has to come to the aid of Zilutsunan, but you saw him like take a little bit of backline position, which just like sort of let them go off of him off stage and and they were able to get the stock even like feeling out something as simple as a pk thunder you try to interrupt uh whatever the, it was that you're trying to set up uh would have like done really really well in preventing that from happening but it's not landing that really meaty forward and doing so much damage that is a very sweet spot in pk fire not even yoshi could be able to double jump through that just because he was so locked into the hit rate of that and pk chris and it's not have the stock lead right now so, the thing is with the Yoshi character model, um, when they're charging F Smash, they actually put their feet in such a way that it perfectly positions it for a um, sweet spot of PK Fire. But dude, it's not losing the stock. I, don't, I completely missed that. I went off the and uh, as a result, I missed it. Nice forward area, just like a quick little get off me option. Suarez is running past the PK Thunder, having enough movement speed. PK is so smart to throw out that forward area as well because knowing that the Swallows would try to go for a forward air kill, um, it just like did a good job of stuffing that out. 
So I like what PK Chris is also doing with his PK fire. Um, you see him commit to PK Thunder afterwards instead of like a normal follow up because most Yoshi mains will try to double jump out of the field. And honestly, a PK Thunder is not very committal and it's quite easy to land that way. So both of them are really precariously high percent spoilers and definitely make this back. This has to get back onto stage really safely. I love the use of the double jump and the up B. Ooh, if he went in a little bit farther, that might have been the PK Thunder 2 kill. Spoilers are just struggling to land. He has to find something. Oh my god. And just like that, that one misinput from uh, Zilatin on grabbing his teammate. That could be it. He's trying to catch, as well as he's trying to catch a jump out of shield from PK Chris. That's going to be the fourth to go off the stage. As well as he's applying so much pressure and just challenged Chris so deep into the blast zone. That was so dangerous. But Swallow is obviously getting rewarded through that kind of commitment. And they got the same victory screen. That was pretty epic. I'm, I'm never going to say that again. I'm, I'm sorry. But yeah, that was a really lovely comeback from Suarez. Um, just did a good job of like capitalizing on the. I guess I, it was like a bit of a mistake, but it was like a bit of a mistake. You know, that's the way you really do sometimes. That's the way you do. Um, jumping into game two, Zayton and Pika Chris, they definitely had it. They had the synergy. They got like a lot of follow ups off of one another. They just have to have a little bit more situational awareness and be careful of, um, you know, like the obvious of like you should grab your teammate. Um, Oh my god, Chris, a little bit, like, frantic to get back onto stage and grab through, just, like, catching onto that beautifully, um, knowing that Chris is just going to air dodge right back into him. Chris has to be careful about these directional air dodges because you see both Swallows and Raptor starting to catch up onto it. Swallows are going to the help of Raptor, just pressuring Zygotin on a little bit with his positioning and forcing him to drop his edge guard preemptively. Both of these players are like on different corners of the stage. This is like devolved into like a one on one almost uh, through that short little sequence. Um, ooh, PK Chris over committing to that up beat, and as a result, going to meet a little bit of an untimely one. That's his double jump. Beautiful angle on the PK Thunder, but not having enough drift because um, his distance was cut in half but, uh, because he ran into something along the way, that actually being one of the issues. So hitting anything that like hits Ness like towards like the first half of his PK Thunder will like basically cut his distance completely. It makes it really really difficult to snap back onto ledge. And unlike Lucas, Ness doesn't get any like barely any drift while uh, coming back. Oh, I'm missing the stage tag too. Chris has to find a way to come back. But I like the option to go through the upbeat directly um, over the ledge, but at that point, I feel like that was maybe perhaps a little innocent. But Swellis is still sitting at three stocks, is what I would say. Not anymore. Chris is off stage without a jump. Really smart to conserve his air dodge. They're able to down smash Raptor. They've almost brought it back to even, but what they just need now is one early stock. But both players are getting juggled simultaneously. That means we're going to be seeing a lot of handoffs. Raptor chasing Chris so deep. And right now, man, the Swallows and Raptor just have to really, really buckle down on the Punishers. And they'll, they'll be able to take this game through themselves with the confidence to uh, release that Raptor. Chris trying to punish a forwarder on his shield with his own neutral air, but Swallow is facing that really, really well. Make sure to get the retreating. I think PK Chris tried to do another high commitment PK Thunder too. Uh, he had the read that Swallow was actually going to cross him up, but um, the PK Thunder fizzled out onto the stage. Now, both, you see them like both like solo, solo focusing. Uh, Zayutsun, because he did like a great job in the set so far, just like interrupting. 132 percent, this is so scary for Psycho Kinetic Christopher. He just has to find a way to get back onto stage, but... Okay, holding shield like that and then having somebody also cover low distance, man, that is menacing. Because like, there isn't a whole lot you can do. And that's, you know, despite him having like double jump magnet, like nothing is particularly safe on Yoshi's shield. Nothing crosses up far enough, nothing is safe enough. And the drop down PK Thunder, it's a really, really good option, but um, Raptor was like definitely ready for it. He knows that PK Chris loves going for it, and thus was able to get an F Smash punish from it. But yeah, that means Swallows and Raptor with a very, very, I want to say confident 2-0, are going to be moving 